Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are going to be looking at the new release from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Rose Metals palette, and we're going to get into... Do you need it? Do you need the Rose Metals palette? If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions and honest reviews. And if you guys like that kind of content, hit the subscribe button and let's get on into this video. So today we are going to be looking at the Rose Metals palette. I have done so much research, watched so many reviews, looked at so many swatches from so many different creators, and I was like, it's a gorgeous palette. Don't get me wrong, it is a gorgeous palette. However, I think that it can be duped by some existing ABH palettes. So we're going to take a look at some of the most common possibly palettes that you have in your collection. See if we can dupe the Rose Metals palette. So the three palettes that I decided to pull from today are the Sultry palette, the Nouveau palette, and then the, the Norvina palette, and then the Nouveau palette. Now the Sultry palette came out in like holiday of 2018 and then they re-released it again. I was like, I guarantee a lot of people have this palette or alter egos like dupe for this palette. And then Norvina is like that OG go-to ABH palette that like blew up the internet. So I pulled this one out of my collection. I figured a lot of people may have this one in their collection. And then I also pulled out the ABH Norvina palette. And this palette, is the release before the Rose Metals palette. It was just released a couple months ago. It's a very like, a lot of people said this actually reminds them a lot of what the a, the Natasha Denona retro palette should have looked like with all the pinks, the purples, the greens, and I, I can concur with that as well. We are gonna dive into these palettes. We're gonna take a look at some of the shades in here and we're gonna see if we can dupe the Rose Metals palette. Now I do have swatches on my arm that I am gonna be showing you guys for the Rose Metals palette. So the first shade in the Rose Metals palette, this is the top row. It is called Rose Quartz. And in the Sultry palette, there's actually another color called Rose Quartz. So she has actually made this shade before and the Rose Quartz shade is this one right here and as you can see from the swatch it is this this is the rose quartz shade now the next shade royal is a cranberry like vibrant cranberry shade now the three palettes of these don't really have like a vibrant cranberry shade but I did find one that was really really similar it is the rose gold shade from the Norvina palette and you can see it here it is chunky and it is very like smooth as it goes on the eye. The texture looks chunky. And that kind of drew me into like, it does look like the Rose Metals palette. Now, next is Haze. I have heard so many different variations of this. Some say it's like a pewter with an undertone of a green. So I'm thinking it's kind of like silver or like a deep silver with an undertone of green. So in the Nouveau palette, I did, I pulled wings for the shade of Haze. And it is this shade right here. Again, it is a chunky looking texture, but it is actually a really beautiful, like creamy, pigmented eyeshadow. There is a shade, it is called Rose Fire, and this is supposed to be like a really coppery, like vibrant, coppery shade. And I chose this shade right here. It is from the Sultry palette, and it is called Steampunk steampunk right here. So this steampunk shade is very similar if not the same. It's not as like coppery as what you would want it to be but it is definitely along the lines of that. Next we have a matte shade. It is called Sun Rose and this is supposed to be like an orangey brown shade. So actually from the Nouveau palette I pulled Fleur which is this shade here. However I was looking at the Norvina palette and it could possibly really mimic eccentric in that one too. It really depends on the orangish undertone but in some of the swatches it looked more like this like the true swatches from other creators here on the platform. The last shade on the first row of the rose metals is called Nova and I've heard that this is like a brownish green 
undertone, like a duochrome. So from the Nouveau palette, I used Hope for that shade. For the second row, we are starting with this shade here. I've heard so many different variations that it's kind of like a silver, but it also has gold, it is metallic. This shade in the Rose Metals palette is called Heavenly. It does look kind of yellow, like in the pictures from ABH. So there are a couple of variations that you could use. I did use Cyborg because it does have like a pinkish, um, silvery undertone to it. Cyborg in the Sultry palette here. And it may almost resemble pearl as well but I thought it was a really good really really good like comparison to that and you could probably find a couple of shades in that one as well next is element this is a true like brown bronze shade and from the sultry palette again I used the color teak and that is this shade right here below steampunk and I thought that was like a true bronze shade that you could use ashes is a taupe shade it is this shade right here, and also from the Sultry palette, I used the shade Twig to dupe this. So Twig is actually right here. So it is a very true to taupe shade. And then we have Dune. This is supposed to be a brick red, like very brick red shade, and out of all of these palettes, the one that I thought probably really mimicked that shade the most was from the Nouveau palette, and it would be Metro, which is the darker, kind of like almost brick red, orangey shade here. And here you can see it on my swatch. This is Metro, but it would take the place of Dune in the Rose Metals palette. This shade, it is called Nocturne nocturne or noct no nocturne this one was really hard to figure out because in some swatches it looks black in the abh swatches it actually looks like brown like a really deep brown so the closest one out of all of these palettes these three palettes here i was thinking that peacock was probably going to be the closest to that shade even though this is like a blue to brown duochrome. I thought this was probably the closest like that you would get with this shade. And then the last one in the palette, this one's called Noble. In a lot of the swatches I've been seeing, it's like a dark brown or even maybe possibly a purple. And in a lot of the swatches, it actually looks more like it's a brownish purple, like an undertone of a brownish purple. So I did pull from the Norvina palette. It is called Passion. And this shade right here, it totally mimics the look of the ABH Rose Metals palette. So here we have all of the shades that I pulled from three different palettes to create a mock Rose Metals palette. So... And to me, like looking at the swatches here and then also looking at some of the swatches from other creators, like are they, could, could they possibly dupe one another? And I think noticing some of the shades too, some of the shades are like really, really like, you know, the Sultry palette has a Rose Quartz palette. Is that the same shade? Like it really makes me wonder if it is. And some of the other shades that are like super, super similar between the Nouveau and the Rose Metals palette, could you dupe? officially like dupe do you need the rose metals palette if you have these three and i honestly don't think so like it gives you the same vibe as the rose metals palette it is so similar so if you have nouveau if you have the norvina and if you have the sultry you could totally create a very similar look now i do totally understand like you don't want to take three palettes with you I get that. So, I mean, I have created a curated like singles palette that I am gonna share with you guys in a different video. So stay tuned for that one and now would be a good time to subscribe to my channel so you can see that. Like even if you only had Sultry and you had the Nouveau, you could probably still come up with very, very similar looks because a lot of the shades came from these two palettes. Only a couple came from the Norvina palette. So you could get still a really similar vibe and feel from these two palettes or even these three palettes. So do you need the Rose Metals palette? If you have these three, I don't think so. I can understand you don't wanna carry around these three, but they also have three beautiful individual color stories. So like if you have these, you can create the rose metals look 
and beyond. Thanks guys for watching to the end of this video. I hope you guys subscribe so you'll see my custom curated palette out of all my single shades, what I'm using instead so I don't have to cart around three eyeshadow palettes if I want to get a look with the rose metal palette. And I hope you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh.